All right, I'm going to make a quick video showing something very interesting that most Muslims or Islamic apologists seem to kind of overlook when they throw around this baseless accusation of Islamophobia to pretty much anybody who would say anything at all, uh, even remotely critical about any aspect or doctrine of Islam. Okay, is that the if we're going to be consistent with this definition of Islamophobia that it is a uh, irrational fear or just a fear of Islam or discrimination against Islam then I guess that makes Allah himself, the moon god of Islam, an Islamophobe, okay? Allah himself is the biggest pusher of Islamophobia. What do I mean by that? Well, because Allah wants you, if you're a non-Muslim, to fear and be terrified of, of Islam. So if Islamophobia is a fear of Islam, then I guess Allah himself ought to be written off as an Islamophobic bigot. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Quran chapter 8, verse 12. It says, I will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieved. You know, that's Allah himself talking. Uh, then also you have Quran 860, uh, which you may terrify the enemy of Allah, it says in that text there. You got uh, Quran chapter 3, verse 151. We will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve. You know, promoting terror. Uh, there's Quran 33, verse 26 to 27. And cast terror into their hearts, it says. So, it seems that Allah himself wants you to be terrified of Islam. So... I guess if we're going to be consistent, these left-wingers, social lefties, whatever you want to call them, they, they should be calling Allah himself Islamophobic. You know, they also maybe should be calling the angel of the Lord Islamophobic too, since he identified Ishmael as a wild man in Genesis chapter 16, verse 11 to 12. So, of course, the angel of the Lord would be called Islamophobic, as would every single prophet, because they would say that Islam is a false uh, religion that was it's basically the spirituality of Ishmael, I'll put it that way. But... Anyone who tries to say, oh, you're Islamophobic, just show them the verses of where Allah wants you to fear Islam if you're a non-Muslim and just say, well, if I'm Islamophobic, I'm just simply doing what your uh, Arabian pagan moon idol wants me to do. So, just a good way to counter these ridiculous accusations of Islamophobia, which are basically used to silence any kind of legitimate criticism of any aspect of Islam. You know, plain and simple. So anyway, don't be deceived by Islam and don't be deceived by all the liberal left-winger Islamic apologists, which, you know, they're, they're just a, a whole insane of their own. But anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.